Welcome to the third part of our video series for the EasyFlow system, Setup, Connection and Use. Firstly, we should check that the O-ring is properly seated in the container unit. Now, take the cap and just check that the liquid fertilizer adapter is installed if necessary, otherwise use the dry fertilizer adapter. Now screw on the cap firmly, but not over tight. Next, prepare the clear fertilizer tube, which will be connected to the green connector on the cap. Simply push the clear tube onto the green connector barb and screw the green connector in, being careful not to over tighten it. Next up, turn the container around and prepare the black input tube. If you find this tube hard to connect, then simply unscrew the blue connector, push it into the barb and do it back up again as shown. This length may be too long, in which case you're welcome to cut the tubes uh, midway or whatever you find appropriate. Just to clarify, the black tube is for water in and the clear tube is for fertiliser out. Next, we're going to bring the injector unit and connect these tubes to the injector unit. Again, note the green and blue markings on the injector unit. This helps us to connect the black and clear tubes in the proper location as we did with the cap. Again, the clear tube goes to the green connector and the black tube goes to the blue connector. Simply push them in on their barbs. The injector unit is compact and easily connected to a tap or similar fitting. Now that our system's assembled, we're ready to fill it with fertiliser and take it to the garden. So what about low flow considerations? such as installing EasyFlow with a drip irrigation system. All we need to do is install an EasyFlow disc in the injector unit. Firstly, we remove the EasyFlow discs from the bag. Note the three sizes. Consult the instruction booklet for appropriate EasyFlow disc selection. Be aware that in this instance, flow rate data is vital. Have you run a flow rate test yet? To install the EasyFlow discs, Firstly, we unscrew the tap connector from the injector unit. Remove the washer from within the injector unit and simply place the EasyFlow disc in the section provided. Next up, we replace the washer within the EasyFlow unit and replace the tap connector onto the injector unit. Remember, the EasyFlow disc is only needed in low flow situations. Before we're ready to go, we need to fill the fertiliser into the container. Next up, fill the container with chosen fertiliser. Fill to bottom of container neck as a maximum. almost ready to go. Connect the injector unit to the tap and connect your hose to the injector unit. As you can see, the EasyFly system sits conveniently near the tap, letting you roam around the garden with a hose or a sprinkler. Ready to go. Turn on the tap and water your garden. See how pure, undiluted fertiliser is drawn from the container unit and brought to the injector. Controlled, 
micro-dose to fertilising has never been so easy.